FM success where when you open FM success where the first screen that you'll see will have different receivers and transmitters firstly you'll see the images of dynamic receivers and then you can click on the next tab to view dynamic transmitters and the next tab over classic receivers and finally classic transmitters on the last tab. This is a nice easy visual reference to determine which receivers and transmitters your students and teachers are using. Also, if you click on the configuration tab, school setup and school list, you can add different schools to your program. So you just need to enter the school name followed by the city. And this is a good way to organize all your students so that you can collect them at one school or the variety of schools. Once you're finished, just click OK. And another inter tool is if you click on that setup and teacher list, then you can add the different teachers' names. Last name followed by the first name. As well, you can select the class channel, and this is a nice way to organize students and to determine which students are on which channels so that you could reduce interference. So next, when you click on the extended fitting, you can add individual students' information. you enter, can enter their last name followed by their first name, their address, and other important information. You could also add their phone number, date of birth, and a nice feature is this is where the school comes in from the drop down menu. You can choose one of the schools that you've entered as well as the teacher names. And then you add that student's profile. Next you can assign a device to the student, and in this case you can see the student's name just at the top there. And when you click the Assign Device tab button, you can a list of different devices come up. For this one, I'm just using the Inspiro. This one asks for a tracking number, so you just enter a number in the bottom there. Next you can select the channels that the student is using. And you can also prepare the device so determine which how you're going to be using the device in the classroom. And you can program the de device for this instance and that would just include plugging plugging in the Inspiro to the computer and there's some directions that you can follow. Next there's a part called data logging. This is where you click in the Inspiro and it'll upload the information from the Inspiro to the student's profile. Another feature is the reporting feature. And in this one, there's a nice one page summary of the student's information as well as the receivers and transmitters that they are using. And this is a nice handy guide to have with you while you're traveling from school to school.